Hi, I'm Leonard. Um, this is about my college course. This goes with my CMHC lawsuit. Uh, I'm currently enrolled at uh, Penn Foster. As you can see, hold on, wrong page. As you can see, welcome back. I am in anatomy and physiology and I am 28% through. And um, let's go check on my courses. Okay, currently. I've done section 1 1, 1 2, 1 3, 1 4, 1 5, and 1 6, but I still have to do a little homework in 1 6. I have to do uh, an exercise in that, but they're checked off. I just have to do them. Uh, and then basically, I take the exam and I move on to section 2. So it was it was quite an adventure to learn this much anatomy and physiology. Uh, there's still quite a bit to learn, but um, at this moment, I feel a lot more knowledgeable about uh, the basis of the cell structures, the all of the anatomy, the where all of the parts are. Uh, and even some of the chemistry and uh, stem cells and uh, different types of infections um, so all the spinal bone all the skeletal system um, I've learned quite a bit you know and then the and then some different um, zones and planes and positions of the body um, and then um, I've learned uh, the language of medicine or pa medicine and pathology and how they form words and different types of uh, suffixes and uh, standard words like cardiology and uh, abdo abdo abdomino megaly megaly uh you know different words like that um uh there's different things that i've learned uh, i've learned all of the spinal column uh the 12 pairs of ribs uh the different all the different bones from the tibula to the femur to the you name it the every everything uh I have to review so that I can put it into long-term memory. I've read it. I've read the chat all of the chapters twice. I'm going to read all of the chapters a third time. And um, I've taken exams and I've done homework assignments. And uh, this is the main exam that will apply for my grade. And. Um, I have to master this information for chapters one through six. I, uh, I'm pretty aware of anatomy and physiology. Uh, it's just that sometimes it doesn't fire and uh, I can't pull it up for some of the names of the parts. And I'm aware though, 
I got images and I have to re relate them to words and images are a real key aspect in learning anatomy and physiology uh, for me anyway I really learn by by looking at pictures um, and then I attach the words to the pictures and it takes a while it is not an easy process you really should not cram uh, a medical course for the first time you really got to review it several times uh, I recommend that and this is a really good good college lesson I, I like Penn Foster and uh, they do they do a good job with this I think uh, you know me being a somewhat of a beginner I'm, I'm, a, I'm informed I was already studying chemistry biochemistry anatomy and physiology genetics and all sorts of things but uh, this this kind of validates it uh, a little bit more than what I was doing um, I was reading a lot of Wikipedia I have several books that I was reviewing I studied basic chemistry and physics completely uh, I've got a lot of knowledge behind what I know so it's it's all good but this goes along with where I'm at in life and this pertains to my education I have a GED and some college experience in computer information technology and some electronics and stuff like that and chemistry now and then I want to work on physiology and anatomy here I'm gonna to try to finish up this course I want to pass that's my goal I want to succeed at this it is very important so that's pretty much it Thanks. Bye.